What's up you guys? Today we're going to be going over the LSA Bosch Heat Exchanger Pump Relay. So this is the relay that I'm going to run on my uh, Bosch pump. Uh, later on I'm going to upgrade to the ZL1 pump. This is the CTSV pump here that you're looking at now. Uh, <clears throat> and I built this relay out of stuff that I had laying around the garage. I do a lot of electrical stuff so I didn't have to run out to the store. But if you do have to go out to the store, you can pick you up a 30 amp fuse you can get these from either uh autozone or o'reilly you can get them from now or if you're at the junkyard really on the regular like i am you can pick these up at the junkyard get you a few of those um the actual pigtail that goes to the pump is actually the exact same thing as a fuel injector pigtail from an ls1 camaro as you guys can see here so i took one of those cut it ran a positive and a ground to it you can see here, this is my ground. This is my positive coming all the way out. But we're about to get into that in a minute. I got to show you guys how I rig this relay. So uh, you look at your fuse on the bottom of it. It has numbers on it. 30, 85, 87, and 86 on the lower part of your relays. And that's exactly what we're looking at here in this diagram. So after you get your... Uh, relay you're gonna need this lower connector part they sell these at AutoZone. they come with about that much wire hanging from them you will have to extend it it's nothing more than a little uh heat shrink uh some solder and stuff like that As you see i loom mine i want the braided loom some people do bubble i prefer to braid it because it look a whole lot neater so basically what you want to do is line this up with your relay once you line it up See, remember 30 was on the bottom so now that we got it lined up we know what 30 is 30 is going to be this one here at the bottom and i'm pulling out 30 comes out goes to a 30 amp uh inline fuse as you can see here this is going to go directly to our battery this is going to be our constant hot at 30 the lower one come over to the right there's going to be our ground you can see i got my little clip there this is probably going to get grounded out to the chassis or to the frame somewhere up top at 87 this is going to go to the pigtail that we have for the pump on the positive side of that pigtail you can see it goes all the way up to that number 86 here drop the relay you guys my bad I'm sitting here trying to pull 86 all the way out it's kind of long because I'm going to run this to a key on source so I made it way longer than everything else so I could drag it all the way around my car. But uh, 86 is basically the trick. I'm going to wire mine to a uh, key on. So that means once my key is in the on position, the pump will be pumping. So that's pretty much how you want to run that. Now as far as hooking it up to the pump, I'm about to show you guys now. As you can see, I got my pump laid out. I got my uh, reservoir sitting over here. Down here I have my... Uh, little antifreeze jug as you can see it's empty that's empty there but it's already a little antifreeze in there taking this sweet with water <laughs> so now we got our jug sitting here i got a towel under that pump so it don't move around too much once we wire it up, so we're gonna start off with the let's start off with 30. The lower one 30 is gonna go directly to the battery. So I got my clip on the battery, positive side. We got 30 hooked up now. We gotta plug our let me say it was going on. So now that I got the prop set up, I brought this can up so you guys can see that. First thing I want to do, so let me plug up into the actual pump itself. So slide this clip into the pump. Okay, got that set up. I don't want those two touching. Set that there. Next, we need to run our constant hot that's coming from number 30. It's so gonna be the lower part. Run that all the way up to the constant height. We're 
gonna set 86 right here. 86 is gonna be our trigger. We're gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna get to that in a minute. Let's get that ready to go. Now we have to grind, ground it out. Take our two ground wires. I know I'm all over the place, you guys. Don't have another clip. Wish I did, but I don't. Move that right there. Get our ground wires together. We got those together. Take our trigger wire, which we had coming out of 86. Is pumping and that's it. Just pumped all of it out of the into our reservoir to do the coolant thing we had at the bottom catching it. So we just pump all of the fluid out of the uh, reservoir and into our little antifreeze jug, and that's pretty much what it does. So every time you get key on power coming from the trigger. Key on power comes down to the trigger, it's gonna cut your pump on and your pump will be pumping. 